हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बिग डेटा हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग दिस इज जयप्रकाश सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट हाउ टू यूज अ यूडीएफ विद इन आवर बिग स्क्रिप्ट सो व्हाट इज यूडीएफ यूडीएफ इज कॉल्ड एज यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन सो व्हाट एवर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स और द फंक्शनैलिटीज दैट कैन नॉट बी हैंडल्ड बाय योर बिग स्क्रिप्ट ऑन अ स्टैंड अलोन दैट कैन फॉर इन दो सिचुएशंस यू हैव टू राइट योर ओन यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शंस एंड दैट कैन बी एम्पेडेड विद इन योर बिग स्क्रिप्ट so in the big uh, 0.9.1 version i'm just using it here um, here and uh, i'm just referring to the documentation and i'm going to use the same example to walk through and help you out in understanding how to use your python udf into your pig script so without wasting any more time let us go so let me come you have to invoke your uh, a pig so I'm taking a very uh, basic data set which I have which is a text file and I'm just loading into my um pig relation a using my pig storage that's it nothing more than that so it is loaded okay even before that okay I just missed this one so just going to save it because um, I need this because i just now executed so without wasting any more time we can go quickly so let me quickly quit so i am uh, logging on to pig first and foremost thing we need to do is we have to register so this is what the register command is and even before that i have written a script this test.py can show you where it is uh, So this test dot py is my Python script. So I'm showing my Python script to you. So this is a straightforward Python script. So it has some um, some definitions where uh, it is going to it has a function called uh, hello world where it is going to return hello world, and it has some complex word. and it is returning a string word and length of the word and uh, we have something called square and it is going to uh, return the uh, it is going to return the square of an input number and uh, we do have something called square schema and it is going to um, get the input and return the input and uh, the next thing is is it is the concatenation so these are all the inbuilt functions we do have in the uh, in our python script so coming back to our pixel this is the statement so we have to register this python script using this r.apache.pig.scripting.zyton zyton script engine as my function so this is a function name you are giving it for the entire udf so we have registered it so it is registered so once after we registered it we are going to execute our command so i'm just loading my relation to pick storage so it is loaded the next step i'm going to use my udf and you know call couple of functions 
so this is the my fun function udf so for each line of a i'm going to generate these two functions hello world and my function dot square so let us quickly go and see the number of lines it has it has 10 lines 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yeah it has 8 so for each line it has to return hello world and uh, it it must return the square of 3 so it takes 3 as the argument it should return um, 9 for each line so I think it's done so let's quickly dump and see the output so as usual it will submit a map reduce program Fifty percent done. So it has written nine rows: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it has only six. I mean eight. So I think I'm not too sure why it displayed nine instead of eight. Maybe you need to go and uh, DFS DFS minus LS. do a cat of this and check this display it. check the total number of lines and I think it shows a different value now so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so each time it shows different so Okay, depends so how it um, logically splits it so it has logically splitted uh, as nine lines so that is the reason it has made it as you know, nine lines so so ultimately the purpose of the video is to explain about uh, how to use your uh, um, any Python UTF within your big script to achieve your infinite number of possibilities so by just using your big script you cannot you may not achieve some of the requirements but but with the help of python udfs and also you, you can use your java or perl or whatever you know whatever the language you are very much comfortable you can write your own UDF and embed within your big script and achieve whatever the infinite number of possibilities so in my project uh, I use uh, Python script within my UDF for encryption algorithms because big doesn't support encryption so I use my big script I mean my I write my own Python script to encrypt the data within my big uh, my um, um, whatever the data I have I try to encrypt that particular fields so so these kind of real-time use cases we can use our UDFs so with that being said uh, we can see some um, uh, some other requirements or you know some other UDFs how to use it in my next video and uh, this is it for this video and if you like my video please like and share and share it to your friends and most importantly please subscribe thank you so much